So this is currently the floor, which uh, I'm uh, obviously looking at, uh, well, first of all, looking at sorting out first. So uh, that's the uh, main entrance to the floor. Uh, straight away, there's a massive hole. So by looking at the floor underneath, um, yeah, it's in a bad state at the moment. You know, there are sections of flooring which is giving way. So, it's mainly where there's water damage. Where, where there's obviously been water dripping in from the roof is where the floor's been giving way. Um, that's a bird through there as well. Uh, so all this section here is that again, that looks, that, that, that's where it's been dripping in. And that's where it's giving way. Over there, which again, I'm very careful what I stand on at the minute, because again, if I fall through, like I've done already. Um, again, over there, um, the floor is giving in. It's mainly because it's where the roof leaks in and it's given way. So you can see where, where it's cracking. Again, there's obviously apple crops that have been put in situ. Like luckily, I'm actually quite I'm actually quite light. But the problem you've got with this is what's actually happened is is they put aqua crops in, but what they've not done is put aqua crops on the floor below. So what they've now gone done and done is put the weight of the roof above on the weight of the floor below. But then underneath, there's no weight, there's, there's, there's no aqua crop. So what they've actually achieved here is basically, they're, they're actually now causing the weight of the roof now on the floor. So that's why all the floors are giving way. So yeah, whoever's done the install of uh, putting aqua crops in to save the building, what they really should have done is done it from the ground, for the ground floor first and then built up. So uh, yeah, well done to the guys that put these in, idiots. Um, also as well as this, um, this is where it gets a bit dangerous now because at the end of the day, you can see where it's cracking. Obviously the weight of me isn't obviously uh, that heavy, but uh, this is why really you need to try and avoid this place at the moment because of uh, mainly that. It's the only way to achieve this is to go down the route of putting in um, steels. Uh, still, still grip a wire in to sit in and obviously get a harness. So, uh, if obviously uh, I do fall through the floor, I'm going to be suspended, I'm going to hit the deck below. Uh, over there as well. So, this is where it's gone down here. Yeah, it's really, really bad. Over there as well, the floor is giving in. So, this is actually the fifth floor up compared to the top floor. If I remember rightly, when I was in here last, about three, three years ago, three years ago, it wasn't like this. This has actually happened in the last three years, uh, which, is, uh, which is worrying compared to the fact that the building's been stored for 30 years empty. Uh, when you look across there, you can kind of like see where the floors are dipping and you know, dipping in like. Yeah, the pressure's on to be fair with you, because uh, obviously I, I, I am on my own in here at the, at the moment, which is uh, obviously, again, not very uh, safe. Uh, you know, the thing is, is you can see the floor, see so again, look at this now, you can see the floor below. Literally see the floor below. It's uh, it's worrying. I kind of like thought this floor was in a good state, but actually now I've been in and seen the place. Now, obviously before it was balloted off. Uh, now I've been in and seen this. Um, I'm having second thoughts on the whole thing. Well, second thoughts on this floor at least. 
Uh, <sighs> well, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's in a bad, bad state. Um, these floors will give way at any, any point. trying to walk between the uh, obviously the main uh, structure of the beams really but again the issue guys is the beams are probably not even no longer safe because the weight of the floor above is being put on there as well you know and again I'm full of uh... boy don't you dare have more kids because if you have more kids in here I'll have to shoot you all then See, that's the reason why the flying in out of the open windows. I don't really know what to say about this in a minute. It's a... Uh... <sighs> See, what I don't understand is, is how you've got a floor of every single pillar going through. So you've got obviously RSJs going through the whole of the building, keeping the, the, the roof above, and suddenly it stops here. And this is all suspended. So I need to do a bit of research on uh, suspension of uh, the spans than uh, propped. <sighs> However, this is when this is this floor has probably got the most windows intact. Obviously, you've got a few broken glasses, but that I can accept at the minute. You know, again, that's a wind that that's got to be, that's got to, got to be a bird that's come through there. takes a bit of weight there's a gap there as well when I think about this place it kind of like makes you think do I have second thoughts on it because it's kind of like it's an incredible meal incredible building but it's the amount of sheer work involved I've got a lift. I also thought when I came here two, three years ago, it also looked very, it looked bigger than this as well, uh, which uh, obviously uh, doesn't look as big now. It looks very small inside. Um,
See, also the big thing about it is clearing the weight off this floor as well. All this is weight, it's not needed. So. Right, let me make it back over to uh, the main main central concourse. So the good thing about putting obviously planks across where the uh, main beams are is incredible. But uh, the biggest issue you've got is there's more weight. There's more weight being added to this. Uh, so. I like the fear as well going through the floor again is even horrendous now. It's already happened once to me already. I've already fallen through once already. And I didn't just go through, I went right down to the floor below. And uh, it was based on it based into that, which wasn't like that, but it was when I finished. So, so yeah, so it's in a, it's in a really good state. Uh, I'm really impressed with the way the building is. I feel the, I feel the building's safe. Safe as houses. So, uh, and that was the distance I dropped. I like, literally went through the floor and I dropped straight through. This wasn't the floor I dropped through, this is all your lightness, but. Yeah. One thing I haven't done is seen the upstairs roof yet. Now, the only way, the only bit that there is safe is the main staircase because that's all concrete. But the minute you go through these doors, that's all wood then. So, again, that's all wood. Now you see above. If that's collapsed, then if you walk on there, that will collapse. So, anyway, 